Today the markets are crashing across the board. And the perfect storm is upon us. Debt is crashing this economy. Devastation on a biblical proportion is before us, and virtually nobody sees it. They are going to QE trillions into buying stocks trying to hold a value up. We're looking at deflation just like what happened in 1929. Means prices are going to drop all the JP Morgan indicted brass has suddenly gotten sick and dropped out of sight. If one too big to fail bank goes. They all go. Investors withdrew $12.2 billion from US funds that buy corporate bonds and loans, the biggest weekly total in at least a decade. Oil drops more than 7%. We are inside the reset, which has already begun. As long as the 10-year stays below 1, the market will continue to implode. The dollar will continue to be devalued all the way to the end of 2021 when the derivatives end and must be settled under Libra. The great devaluation in the dollar will make everything extremely expensive for Americans. Commodities will reverse and will go up very high in price with the gradual and then sudden great devaluation. Many Americans will lose everything to the banks one day soon because all assets will be repriced against gold as the dollar becomes worthless in world trade. The dollar will only be a local currency for Americans, similar to say the Mexican peso. This economic meltdown is the result of a massive expansion of fake economy. Trump is aggressively pushing for more debt and negative interest rates. Yeah baby, 0% interest rates, then trillions of QE. A revolution is now the only way to get solutions enforced, including enforcement of the Constitution, which never had a chance since 1913 when Woodrow Wilson and Admin legally gave the central bank cartel the authority to create money. Everything that is happening is according to their wealth transfer plan via their fiat garbage central bank cartel system. The sooner we all accept that fact and that we've all been duped, the sooner we can move to solutions. This includes repeal Fed Rest Act of 1913, establish new national bank owned and operated by citizens, not government, banks, or corporate conglomerates. America, the richest and greatest country in the history of the world, broke in massive debt dysfunctional. How did that happen American public servants? This is treason. America, get ready for another public bailout of the banks. The Fed now has a green light to finish their final solution. A multi-decade scheme to be the lender and buyer of last resort, which makes you the borrower, the slave. Nothing makes a central bank happier than issuing more debt. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you. Dow down 750 within 10 minutes of open. JP Morgan Chase shares down almost 5%. The plunge protection team is in there right now, buying up billions of at-risk stocks and bonds. Guess who'll ultimately be paying for all this insanity? The Fed stepping in to stop the chaos is like a train conductor outrunning the engine then laying down on the tracks. Ridiculous, 500-point ramp in the last 15 minutes. Of course, the Fed will step in and keep trying to save the corpse on the operating table. Plunge protection team on steroids today. The Fed offers unlimited capital and lends it to favored HFT firms. They turn on the floor program. Then they front run the targets they set. They make money, and the Fed account is closed at the end of the day until it is needed again. The only questions from HFT firms to Fed, where do you want the close to be and what do you want the rest of the day to look like? This market really needs a catastrophic crash. The Dow is worth about 10,000 in the best of times. Haven't we been waiting patiently for this? Amazing, the Fed could keep it going this long. When it's time, it's time. If something can't go on forever, it will eventually stop. It was never a matter of if but rather when the reset would happen. Get ready for the greatest depression. Monetary theory wants us to believe interest rates solve all problems, they're out of monetary ammo. Trump thinks all problems are solved with tax cuts for billionaires at the top of a market boom, he's out of fiscal ammo. We're screwed. The government needs zero, or negative, rates so that they can continue issuing debt with no interest obligation. Now, how would you buy that debt? Lend money for zero or negative returns. Our government, of course. Ponzi scheme to the max. And we all will suffer from the results. The stock market needs to be kept up because everyone is invested. 
Pension funds, banks, IRAs, 401ks. The Fed has stepped in. There is a current QE program running, and they just did an emergency rate cut that saw rates drop by 33%. And as if anyone needed reminding, Deutsche Bank just announced today that policy failure is here amid market turmoil. The central banks are all out of ammo. Both the virus and the surprise Fed rate cut really are sidelines marginal to the real economic problems. Too much bad debt and banks that don't trust each other on account of unknown quality of reserves or collateral in their portfolios. This is why the repo market began to fail last September. And now the repo crisis is back with a vengeance. There is a severe shortage of pristine collateral US Treasury bills in the global banking system. According to global economist Martin A. Armstrong, this means that the repo crisis will get much worse, and the Fed will have to become the permanent market maker to maintain short-term rates at these levels. We may be headed for a tiered interest rate schedule, one for the US government and another higher one for business and consumers. The national debt requires the Fed to up its interventions in our financial markets indefinitely. As the global economy further stalls, even the US dollar index and gold are down a bit in the last week, as previously they were both rising until last week's big stock market correction. Capital flows into US markets are probably down, as well, which explains a weaker dollar at this time. We are headed for a global depression next year. Interesting times, as the ancient Chinese curse states. America's politicians and elites have gotten complacent and too greedy for our own good. Now we must all pay the price for our voter complicity for the past 30 years. Many say a Fed policy response like raising interest rates would be incredibly problematic due to the massive amount of debt the US and its citizens have accumulated. But as inflation rises due to compromised supply lines, the Fed's aggressive money printing actions, etc. inflation or hyperinflation will become a serious problem. The currently rising gold price indicates as much. Eventually, the Fed will be forced to do the opposite of what they've been doing, they will need to raise interest rates and reduce the debt assets on their books. So the easy money policies we have grown accustomed to, will eventually lead to rising interest rates in the future to quell inflation, just as Volcker needed to do. The time to worry will be when interest rates are approaching 10% to 15%%, not now, as interest rates are being pushed downward towards zero. In addition to record low liquidity and short interest, there has been a surge in cross-asset correlations, a far more accurate measurement of rising market risk than the manipulated VIX. But not every cross-asset correlation is surging. Gold's correlation to stocks has become less negative, which means that stocks plunge. Gold will soon be the best performing asset in the world. Like Peter Schiff, Ray Dalio warns us again, protect yourself. Meaning buy some physical gold or silver, better to protect yourself against big unknowns like the virus by accumulating something that has no counterparty risk than by trying to bet on a black swan induced crash or Fed induced rally in the criminal swamp known as the stock market. Economist and money manager Peter Schiff says, everybody is a long-term investor until they need the money. This is a giant Ponzi or pyramid scheme. The only way people can retire from their stock portfolio is to sell shares. Or if everybody is stuck in the same emergency, who are you going to sell your shares to? This is the most overvalued stock market in history. It's not the virus. The market was going to go down anyway. It's not the size of the pin, but the size of the bubble. This is a massive bubble. It finally found a pin. The biggest game of chicken in history. The Fed will capitulate. The 99% loses to globalist subservience or to a financial crash, which will be followed by Fed capitulation and globalist subservience. The game was lost when the Fed started with the preventative rate cuts. Fed, go ahead and do it. Whatever it takes. Make it enough. You could qualify it as temporary until China gets back to business. Of course, working capital liquidity has no connection to financial market liquidity. This virus has only been going on for seven weeks, and it is already everywhere. Only 2,000 Americans have been tested. We are worse than in China. We have no idea how many are infected. The virus is going to affect all of us directly, catching it, or indirectly, knowing someone who does. The Fed is going to need to do massive bank bailouts, and will probably pick up trillions in bad loans over the coming months. This is shaping up to be an epic storm of massive proportions like none of us have seen in our lifetimes. 
This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you.